Intex of San Antonio presents Alexis, an omnidirectional vehicle designed for comfort, durability, and mobility. A revolutionary invention in a world of stereotyped wheelchairs. For decades, manufacturers of wheelchairs have ignored practicality, aesthetics, and modernization. For several years, Alexis has been studied and researched by engineers at the Veterans Administration Rehabilitation Research and Development Center near Stanford University at Palo Alto, California. It is a magnificent computerized vehicle which will fulfill the needs of handicapped persons. Now, there will be no more stigma in wheelchair confinement. Mobility is a key to independence. Project design engineer for Alexis is Bob Smith of Palo Alto. He and his associates have developed an elite vehicle which indeed fills the role of space age technology. Alexis is a product of intricate research in the Silicon Valley of California. Dr. Larry Miller, physician and emergency surgeon, has put aside his medical practice to devote full time to the development and marketing of Alexis. He has tremendous faith in its future. The degree of uh, freedom and mobility given to the handicap by Alexis is phenomenal. It's a quantum step forward. And anything I can contribute to the Alexis project will mean far more to humanity than anything I could do in the emergency room or in my profession. I'm very excited about Alexis. I've devoted my time, energy, and money to it. And I feel that in both in terms of the handicap and in my own personal uh, satisfaction, I'll be more than compensated. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Resources reveals that some one million Americans are confined to wheelchairs. Many of those are not institutionalized, and thus more than 500,000 Americans depend on wheelchairs as their only source of mobility. Another alarming fact is the prediction that 16,000 new spinal cord injuries will occur each year. Most of those injured citizens will sooner or later require a wheelchair, and in most instances, a motorized chair. In today's society, between the ages of 18 and 64, there are almost 500,000 persons confined to wheelchairs who are able to continue their occupations. They will need the best wheelchair available to carry on with their work and their lives. Alexis can provide the catalyst for those who are trying to regain a degree of normalcy. For a routine, normal cup of morning coffee around a kitchen table, the average motorized wheelchair is manipulated back and forth just to circle the table. To give you an idea of what we mean, this demonstration shows a regular motorized chair taking 28 seconds to make the arc. Now, to compare the maneuverability of Alexis, that same table, and before the cup can cool, it takes less than 10 seconds to make the circle. The chair is ideal for close quarters and narrow spaces. The basic design has been under development since 1978. Nothing but perfection would be acceptable. Yet, the chair is so basically simple, it will be durable and comfortable. Bob Smith explains about the chair as it is disassembled. The first thing we're going to do is go in and unplug the connections that are underneath the chair. That's something you wouldn't have to do with a production device. All those connections control some of the functions that go on in the chair, the joystick control and, and all the various computer selection controls. And you can see once those are undone, it's just a question of lifting the chair up and off the machine. You can see the cowling comes off vertically on this machine, just pull it off, it just sits on there like a, like a bell on a housing. And the first thing I was going to do here is take the batteries off it. Ideally though, you'd never have to take the batteries out of a Lexus. They should be essentially permanent. Once those six screws are taken off, you can just pull the wheel straight off there. These are the rollers around the edge. The rollers are kind of the secret to the way that the Lexus is omnidirectional. It's the, those are the reasons that the wheels are able to roll along in the, in the fashion that they do without scrubbing or scraping or dragging things along with them. This is the microcomputer that operates the Lexus. It's all on a single board there. It's a printed circuit board. And these are all the contacts on the back. And that little chip right there is the, the microcomputer that runs the whole machine. All the other chips are just support chips for that one microcomputer. And this is the motor for a Lexus. All three of the motors are exactly the same. They're identical to one another. The motor itself only goes from this back point here to right there where my finger is. And this is the gearbox that actually drives the wheel. This is the power amplifier for the motor. 
that controls uh, the motor's motions under command from the computer. And this is the shaft encoder for the motor that actually monitors for the computer how fast the motor is actually turning from moment to moment. This is the outer support bearing for uh, the Alexis wheel. There's two of these on each one of the wheels, and it's a bearing you'd find exactly like the ones that are in the, the wheels of your car. This is one of the horizontal chassis pieces of Alexis. It's one of two pieces, and they look like this when they're out by themselves. The fun thing about it is it's the chassis piece, holds it together like a car frame, but it's also the suspension. It's flexible, and that's what gives Alexis the kind of ride that it has. The prototype of Alexis had never been seen by the public, so we decided to allow Alexis to make a debut at a Palo Alto shopping center. We wanted public reaction. The personal appearance was a success, and you can see why.